you cannot cope with vast amounts of information in the old fragmentary classified patterns. You tend to go uh, looking for mythic and structural forms uh, in order to manage such complex data and s moving at very high speeds. So the uh, electric engineers often speak of pattern recognition as a normal need of people uh, processing data electrically and, uh, and by computers and so on. Need for pattern recognition. It's a need which the poets foresaw uh, a century ago in their drive back to mythic forms of organizing experience. In the new electric world, where everybody is involved in everybody, where everybody is involved in complex processes that are e going on in the total environment, the old identity cards that used to constitute private identity, the old means of finding out who am I, uh, will not work. People uh, now have to encounter themselves in the inner world, uh, Kierkegaard or existential style, in order to know who they are. The old methods of merely external uh, identity by uh, marks of uh, occupation, national origin, age grouping, and so on, these will not serve any longer as means of distinguishing private identity. The uh, global village is a world in which uh, you don't necessarily have harmony. You have extreme concern with everybody else's business and much involvement in everybody else's life. It's a sort of Ann Landers column writ large. And uh, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean harmony and peace and quiet, but it does mean huge involvement in everybody's else, everybody else's affairs. And so the global village is as big as the planet and as small as uh, the village post office. Um, I was delighted to come across a passage in Shakespeare a few days ago, a familiar passage, which suddenly revealed the same message. One touch of nature makes the whole world kin that each with one consent pursues newborn gods, though they be made and molded of things past. The new is always made up of the old, or rather what people see in the new is always the old thing, the rear view mirror. And what people see at any time, what their attention is focused upon is always the rear view mirror, never the present image or the present fact. The future of the future is the present, and this is something that people are terrified of.